three hidden Toronto pre-construction condos you want to know about. Today I'm going to show you three gems, absolute gem, beautiful projects that I really like. I think they're very, very good both for investing and for living. Okay, friends, Jesse Kaplan here, Toronto Real Estate Agent Mortgage Broker, Research Realty and Search Mortgage, phenomenal company. Thank you very much for letting me work there. YossiKaplan.com, go to the YossiKaplan.com site and sign into Investor Insider to get all the news that I cannot share with you on video, listings, private sales, deals, etc. So let's jump right into it. UrbanRealtyToronto.com, you'll find prices, you'll find step-by-step -step guides, you'll find how to invest like pros, you'll find information about pre-construction and condos, about specific projects, about Niagara, about master plan committee, on and on and on and on. Okay, today I'm going to show you three projects that I think, in my opinion, are overlooked, and I think they're really, really good, and I think you'll do yourself a great favor if you're investing and take a look at them, and if you want to know the latest prices and availability, I have the list with me. It's completely updated, so just send me an email, and I'll send you the list back. You can leave your information in the comments, too, and I'll send the information. Okay, let's start, and we're going to start from right to left, from east to west. Our first project we're going to look at today is going to be the project on Niagara Street called West Condos. Now, this is Toronto's original coffin factory, at least that's what the rumor is. And this is the building, so it spans between 89 Niagara and 101 Niagara. And that's the original. Now, behind this building, uh, there's, there's a bunch of empty space. And that empty space is going to turn into two beautiful uh, towers right here. It's going to be two beautiful towers. And the old factory is going to be turned into loft. It's all part of the same project. Across the street, by the way, right here, uh, there's going to be a huge project by Taz Development. Uh, so this area is amazing. You're basically looking at kind of the hidden area of King West. I'm going to zoom in on the map for you once again. Here's the CN Tower. There's Bathurst, so it's really close to me. And there's Niagara. If you basically go into the West Condo by Minto, it's just behind you there. Okay, we'll go to the 3D version. First, I'll show you what it is, and then I'll give you more information, and we'll dive right in. And I'll explain to you why I think this is such a good project. So the project is right here. Here is the old building. It says 101 Niagara. And all these uh, space at the back here, which is south, these are the train tracks. They're lowered in. You can't actually see them. They're below you. And those may be covered, too. And then, of course, Fort York. And then there's the, uh, the edge of uh, Fort York, and then Gardner and the lake. So you got a bit of space. And the nice thing about it here is this area right here is going to be a park. So anyone that's facing south is going to look into the park. And this is a very, very quiet area. But guess what? Here is the summit. And that's King West right here. That's King and Bathurst. You're in the center of King West here. Okay, so I really like it. Uh, here is 95, 111 Bathurst. There's the Thompson. Okay, there's Fashion House, here's the pool. So we're right here. We're just other side of Bathurst. That's the Thompson Hotel, the, the first one. It's the summit with their pool. And that's the project is right here. Now across the street, Tecumseh. So there's another Minto project here, Tecumseh. And right across the street, this entire big block here, this is by Taz Development. They're going to develop all this. I've seen uh, quite the architecture going on there. You can still get in this project here. Um, I sold a few units here, including one of the best patterns, penthouses in, in, the, um, in this project. I think it's a phenomenal project. The old building will stay, and there's two towers coming right here in the park. Okay, let me show you here. So I'm going to jump to torontocondosforsale.com, and this is the page for West Condo. If you want to find it, all you got to do is go to torontocondosforsale.com, hit projects in Toronto, or go from the menu and do a search for new construction, and just put West. That's all it takes. And there's West Condos. Hit that, apply, and it comes right there. Okay, so these are the renderings. Uh, now you're looking from north to south, okay, facing a little west. So there'll be Niagara Street right here in front of us. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous architecture. The floor plans are one of the best I've seen in a long time. Uh, they're really putting everything you need to have a really nice building and what i really love about this building is first of all the location is phenomenal second it's mostly residential a lot of people that bought here bought to live you won't find a million investors in here and you won't find 90 percent investors look how beautiful this is so this is a render of the renovated old factory the two are connected there's a bit of an inner courtyard and then south of you there's a bit of a park and then basically you got space because the train tracks are lowered in there. You can't really see it. And then you're looking at the green of Fort York. And then in the background there's Gardner and the lake. Okay. 
Here's the inner courtyard. It's got some uh, really nice area for the residents to come and enjoy. There's some barbecue. There's some communal tables. Here's another view of the common elements, the common rooms. Very, very nice. A lot of attention to detail here. It's, it's, it feels like home. It feels like home and it just feels really nice. And although you're right in the heart of it, it's going to be quite, very quiet in my opinion because you're just off Queen Street, and you, uh, King Street, and you're just off Bathurst. So just enough to make it really quiet. There is a couch suspended in the air. <laughs> All right. Uh, here's, a, here's a render of a gym. Oh, it looks really nice. Okay. This is built by Altera. This is a serious developer. This, this, this project is a serious project. The architecture is to die for. The floor plans are very, very good. I have all of them. They're very, very good. They're very livable, and they make a lot of sense to me. And you know, the prices, they started selling this um, last year. We did some deals there, and they're holding sales now, and they're gonna be selling very soon the last, pro the last phase, which is the old building uh, renovated here. So it's gonna be a mix of a renovation of an old building plus addition of these two towers. They're not, they're not very tall. I believe they're about 14 and 16 stories, something like that, maybe 14 and 18. They're not very tall, so it's gonna be a nice community, you know, about maybe 300 units, give or take. Maybe it says here, 320. Yeah, so it's about right, and 14 stories. So that's about right. That's just enough to make the condo fees not expensive, yet, you don't feel like you're in a hotel situation with tons of small units and no one knows each other. It's a community. It's, it's really communal. So I really like it. So this is West Condos. If you want more information about this project, let me know. Um, this penthouse is here. I think we, I sold one of them. I'm not going to tell you exactly which one, but there's, there's obviously four corner units in each of these buildings, and there's one or two units in between. So there's eight to 10 pent, uh, over eight, maybe 10 or 12 pentas that's available. And all these units here are very, very good. There's no, all, all floor plans are good, okay? And if you want something um, in, in the uh, lower section, in the old loft section, you can find one. If you want a unit in the glass uh, mini towers, maybe there's a few available. Very, very good project, I really like it. Uh, the price is gonna be about today's price, probably around the 1200 mark, give or take, depending of course on your view and what unit you take and the size and all that. Now the smallest units used to have, tend to have higher dollar per foot and so do the penthouses and the in-between units, maybe a lower floor unit, larger unit, probably have a slightly lower dollar per foot, but the same unit on the higher floor will have a higher dollar per foot. Okay, so it's, it, there's a variance, but you get it. Okay, so this was 10189 Niagara. You can see right here. I'm gonna zoom back out on the map. I just switched to the map so you can see exactly where you are. Okay, so here's Bathurst, and that's Niagara, and that's the Thompson right here, and that's King. Okay, that's King right here. So here's King. There's Fashion House. There's, uh, there's 95 Bathurst, 650 King, 111 Bathurst. Okay, there's the Minto King West. The Minto West is down here, this big block right here. This is Bathurst here. Okay, all, all good. Now here's the, here's, I, I made actually, uh, I made a path, I pro, oh, I just lost that, we'll try it again. Uh, 101 Niagara, and our next, okay, our next uh, destination is 1181 Queen. Here we go. So now we're gonna cross Trinity Bellwoods, or if you're walking, you can walk uh, through Wellington, of course, or cycle through Wellington. We're gonna go right by the Drake Hotel to the corner of uh, Queen and Gladstone, and we're gonna we're gonna end up next door to the Bohemian Embassy. Okay, so this is a bit of a metropolitan geography here, but that's what if you if you want to be in real estate, you gotta understand. Like this is all about the map and where you are. So this tower here is the Bohemian Embassy 1171 Queen. This building here is Bohemian, also Bohemian, 1169. This is the Gladstone Hotel. This is the Drake Hotel, you can see right here. Okay, so this is the, the most famous, fanciest block in Toronto, right here. And of course, here we have the other buildings, 150 Sudbury, 170 Sudbury, the Curve Condos, okay, 36 Lisgar, Art Condos. And now, this corner here, there used to be a, a, a coffee time or whatever it was called. I have a lot of memories from there. There's a lot of crazies there, but you know, we used to get coffees there too. It's all good with the little plaza. And this is becoming into a gorgeous, gorgeous building. 
Now mind you, this is Gladstone, so this is 2 Gladstone, 8 Gladstone, and of course the Carnaby, which is 20 Gladstone, this entire project here. Now they have a fresco, this is the fresco right here, and there's a metro right inside here, and that's the Dufferin Bridge. Okay, this is going to be a little parquet here. Across the street on Dufferin, you're getting some purpose uh, rental built, and so is on King, King West, down King and Dufferin, just below us. So just so you know where we are, I'll give you kind of an idea. Okay, I'll zoom back out. So he, here we are, right here. Okay, so it's a phenomenal corner. 31 Ossington is going to come right here. It's a small boutique building that we have information for you uh, in the spring about this one. Okay, and then that's that's uh, Gladstone. Sorry, 31 Gladstone and, thir and Gladstone going up here. And it's going up from Queen to Dundas, of course, little Portugal, Beaconsfield Village. And Bellwoods is right here. Trinity Bellwoods, the busiest park in Toronto, is right here. Okay, so now you know where you are. Argyle Lofts. Okay, very, very nice. This is a phenomenal area. Probably one of the best areas in town to live. And, you know, you're about two kilometer walk from where I showed you before. You basically keep moving west a little bit. And that is what's called the Queen West Triangle. You can see there's a bit of a triangle on the map. And that's the last piece of the triangle is going to be right here. So 1181 Queen. It's a phenomenal building. It's a very unique building because it's a triangular shape. It's the tip of the triangle. And behind it, you can see the Bohemian Embassy. Okay, there's, uh, there's some stores at the bottom here. And this is a really nice, gorgeous, tall building. It's got stunning architecture. It's got some good floor plan designs. You can see some superimposing the floor plans on the lot. So you can see what it looks like here. I have all the floor plans and the prices if you like. Just shoot me an email. And that's what it looks like. There's going to be a lot of nice units here. This project has been selling and they have some units left. I should probably mention the units here start in the 700s and they're around the 11 and $1,200 a foot. Some of them even I see, some of them are even below the 1100 mark, 1100 foot of mark, but some units will be more than 1200 which is normal. But it's absolutely gorgeous. You can see I really, really like it. Okay, here, here is a good idea, and I wrote about it in my, in my blogs before. Uh, if you search here, I think it was in this one. Let's see. So there, there's a bunch of articles here about 1181 Queen West. You can take a look. Okay, so there's some high-res pictures here. Absolutely gorgeous. I highly recommend this area. I absolutely love it. And the building, it's just gorgeous. Look at this. And the location is phenomenal. So, you know, anything that technically faces north, it's not real north in Toronto, because Toronto is a bit of an angle. So that means that in the summer, these in, in the summer, the sun will hit these balconies late in the day. You know, there's a thing called Queen Henge. Queen Henge, which is when the sun aligns along Queen. <laughs> it's not on the solstice. It's just off because Queen is not actually east-west. It's, it's, it's a bit on an angle. The whole city is on an angle. So here is your uh, common room, fitness room. And at the back, you can see Bohemian. Okay. That's kind of a lobby, foyer, party room, lounge room. Just gorgeous. Library. Very, very nice. This is kind of the lifestyle I like to have. This is a corner-facing unit. So it's facing east and north, looks like. Okay, that's another east. That's a downtown at the background. Very nice, very nice finishes. Everything is really good. So that's 1181 Queen Street, Wine Investor. You can see the floor plans are very unique and they're smart because they have to fit, the architect ha had to fit these floor plans into this uh, unique structure, unique shape of the lot. But the plans are really good. Yes, they're, they're maybe angled, but when you come into the unit, it's a totally normal unit. It just doesn't face direct north or south. It faces a bit of an angle, which is actually good because it gives you more sun options. Okay, and the floor plans are very, very efficient. Okay, these are efficient floor plans. These are well-designed plans. The kitchen is at the back. You got a nice den. You got you got almost like a Jack and Jill bathroom with a walk-in closet. That's actually very good. So a unit like this for 1,100 a foot or 1,200 with a, with the height and the view. It's fair value, in my opinion. Now, some of these units are a bit of an inside corner unit, like this one. So this one, take a bit of a grain of salt before you're investing in this one. We'll talk about this one-on-one, -on -one, of course. Uh, but this unit here facing directly uh, north and maybe a bit of west-ish. But the design looks really good. This is a small window. Okay, that's an inside corner with a small window. I usually try to avoid these units. 
Although on the inside they could be perfectly fine, I'd like to have a bit more window space. Okay, maybe this will be more of an investment rental unit. Uh, here is a really nice unit. Okay, that's facing south, mostly southwest a little bit. Beautiful, there's a side by side. There's ample space here, very, very good. The design is really good, like these nice blocks of rooms. Okay, that is a, an interesting unit. Uh, it's facing southish um, and it's quite large. And it's got a smaller window here, but it does have a window for the ba so with the bedroom. So this could be actually good. And the, smartly, the architect took this entire area, made it into a walk-in closet. You can also just take this. It's probably just drywall. So maybe able to remove this and extend your living room or just not use the, the doors and just make your bedroom larger, if you don't mind. But lots of options. Very, very nice plans. This is, this is really good. Okay, so they've done, in my opinion, a really good job. Now, the first time you look at it, it looks a little strange because the unit is angled, but the actual the actual unit, when you're inside, it's going to be 90 degrees squared. Very, very smart. Very, very smart. Here's a more traditional view with a terrace. Very, very nice units, okay? And, you know, Queen West, that's probably a very good place to invest, in my opinion. The values of Queen West are as high, if not higher, than King West, but there's a lot less units. This is looking east, so that's the Bohemian Embassy right here. Okay, that's that's Queen Street, that's the downtown. And here's the Drake right here. There's a big building coming up here, by the way. The Drake is building an extension. Here's looking west. No, that was looking north. That was looking north. That's the Fresh Co. So that'll be Gladstone Street right here. Okay, North Coat Street right here. That's looking east and north. So Bellwoods down here. This is the Argyle Loft, this big building. Okay, this is looking south. These are the townhomes. This is Joe Schuster, 20 and 38 Joe Schuster. Here's the lake right there, the CNE right there. Okay, beautiful. So lots of light, lots of views. Really, really nice project, more information. And here's the Google Street View. And you can see that's, uh, that's the lot right here. It still shows the old... Uh, what is it saying now? Gladstone Cafe. I think it used to be a coffee time. And here's the Gladstone. Here's two Gladstone. That's a new metro in there. That's Queen Street. Okay, so that's 1181. Back to the map, and I'm going to show you the last one I have for you. So here's the map. And the last one is called 57 Brock, which is sitting just the out, out, out of side of Dufferin. So 57 Brock Avenue, and that sits in the old beer store lot. So we ride here. Let's switch to map. Just so you'll see. So we started in Niagara Street. Okay, we started in Niagara Street. Then we went here to the corner of Queen and Gladstone. And then we're just gonna go here more like it. And then we're gonna just cross under the bridge, walk a little bit, and come up on Brock. So let's see if we can zoom in and see what we find in the 3D. It's always fun. Now this is all live. I haven't really prepared this just the addresses and I do it with you so here's the lot there you go that's the old beer store and this big lot here is gonna be a gorgeous gorgeous condo these are the train tracks right behind you okay that's Florence Street uh, these are townhouses now okay that's Dufferin here's the big school so the school is a big attraction because lots of families in the area and there's really not a lot of condo here there's not a lot of new residences here so 57 brock is offering in my opinion a great location because queen west parkdale parkdale is the hottest neighborhood in town in my opinion especially if you want to live here it's right here okay so here's the whole parkdale all the new stores the parkdale vegan vegan deal it's known for a lot of vegan options here everything you want right there and of course as you keep going you're gonna eventually hit the lake because king and queen will hit the lake right here and here you have the entire lake to enjoy okay you can, you can cycle this walk this it's endless it goes all the way to the humber high park and well beyond okay let's go back so this is 57 brock 57 brock is a unique building it's got a lovely architecture uh check it out here i also have some information about it in my site but this is the building i think it's really nice i actually really like it and you can see it's a mix of kind of the old school architecture with a bit of a modern residential and very smartly using this slot the building kind of jogs out a little bit and it gives what it does it gives more window space more spaciousness to the building and to the units that live it inside and there's a bit of a of a delay a foyer 
a, a mini parquet here. They're very, very nice. Okay, here's the law. So they've done very well at jogging the building around and working with, the, this is on the left, that's Brock. Okay, so top is north, bottom is south, left is west, and east is here. You can see this area here, that's what you see here. Okay, there it is. And here we have terraces, lovely terraces, graded terraces. They're facing south here, and west here, and east here, lots of light. Lots of light for everyone. There's no tall structures around you. All these buildings are smaller buildings. Look at this. It's just absolutely beautiful. Uh, there's only 97 units here. There's about, I don't know, maybe 10 or 20 left. I think the values are very, very good here. I think it's, it's a very good consideration, especially if you're stuck in a building with 500 units or 1,000 units. You know, at any given time, there's so many people buying and selling. The price cannot be maximized. But if you're in a small boutique building and you have a really nice unit, it, there's, there's just one or two or three of those. When one of those comes available for rent or for sale, it's going to fetch full price. There's just no other option because it's really nice. You really feel like you live in someone's art loft. Okay? So that, that's mind-expanding, soul-expanding, comforting kind of living. Really, really gorgeous. Here's a, here a render of a two-story unit. Absolutely lovely. So you can see the three I brought you today are unique, uh, they're beautiful, they're boutique, they're well made for living, and there's not a lot of investors in any of these units. Therefore, if you're investing in any of these units, the chances are most people around you are residents, the owner occupiers. They own the unit, they live there, they bought to live, they did not buy to invest. Also, you won't find a lot of tiny, tiny units in these buildings. There's just not a lot. Therefore, any, any unit here, in my opinion, is is very good opportunity to investment because you don't have a lot of renters around you. It's a quiet building. When your unit comes, you have good chance of getting full price because there's just nothing like it. There's probably going to be very few units. So West, I think, is the largest one with 320 units. 1181, got a, only 112, and 57 Brock has 97 units. So total, okay, there's about 100 here, 112, so that's about 200. 520 units in these three buildings, that's less than one tower. That's less than one tower. So the supply and demand game comes in here. The artisan, the art, the craftsmanship. Look at all these buildings are really, really gorgeous. They're really done with attention to detail. The floor plans are good. The designs are good. They're unique. They're different. They strike a chord. I really like these, you know. It's like sometimes you got to look at, especially now with everything so expensive, if you can invest your money at 1,080 a foot, or 1,100 a foot, or 1,200 a foot, or even maybe score a penthouse for 1,400 a foot, to me, it's going to be a great consideration. It's great consideration because they all offer a unique opportunity to live and to own in a building that is mostly owner-occupied. Either this one, 57 Brock, 1181, or Queen West. Okay, let's summarize. Uh, oh yeah, I got the condo calculator for you, condocalculator.ca. Put your name, your email, and the system will send you the link to this email where you can put the information and the system will spew for you the estimated carrying costs, the break-even costs, how much it's gonna cost you, how much rent you need per room, and so on. Okay, let's summarize. We started at 101 Niagara. Let's zoom out. Okay, we started at uh, 101 Niagara. I remind you there's a very large project coming on the left here by Taz. So this here, whatever they sell, Taz will look at the prices and probably start with those prices. So probably there's another opportunity because there's another developer about to launch a big project here. And if you do a bit of a research, you'll, you'll find it and you'll see. To me, it makes sense because I know that when I was buying King West and I was the only one on King West, people laughed at me. <laughs> ridiculed me. I'm not kidding. They said I'm crazy and all that stuff, but guess what? I already knew because I just look at the plans and I look at what's going on, where the city is going to develop, where the area is going to develop. So if I know there's a quality project here and another quality project coming on the other side, if I to invest first, I'll probably get better price. Okay? Assuming the quality and the design is the same. Uh, I know for a fact because I've seen the plans, i talked to the people, I've been on the land, I know these are fantastic projects, I really believe in it, I really love it, I sold a bunch of units there. So that's 101. Now we're going to go up, you can actually walk on King, that's Stanley Park, we're going to walk west, and then we're going to come up through Sudbury, 
and go to the corner of Queen and uh, Gladstone here to 1181. 1181, Queen, absolutely gorgeous building. Look at this thing. Just stunning. Okay, and if you need more information, 1181 Queen on urbanrealty.com. Just search for 1181. You'll find it. There's, there's two articles here. Okay, great. The last one is 57 Brock. And again, how we got there is from Queen and Gladstone. We simply just continue west on Queen under the bridge. Okay, and then make a ride on Brock. It's really close. Stop at the, at the beer store. You're right there. This beer store, this lot here, it's a big lot, is going to con be converted to this gorgeous, unique boutique building. This thing comes once in a lifetime. Any of these three, in my opinion, will be fantastic. Thank you very much, everyone. Any more information, hit me up. Yossi Kaplan. Take care. That's it.